You look so great. You look so handsome. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Did you see my gym? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's a good reason, right? So, so go. Are you be waiting a lot for this meeting? Yes, we have been waiting this encounter because um, we haven't talked uh, and meet for for fight some time. Something now. Uh, I've been very happy waiting. Hey, I don't see you girls since uh, uh, the prom, right? It's a long yeah. time. A long, long time. Yeah, long time. From, from the high school. I have been waiting for this meeting for several days. Also, the internet connection is not really good here, but it, yes. it's yeah. how we have agree with the technology too in order to be in contact with our friends from the school so by the way how the use of technology has changed our lives you know oh yes and um, for yes. me it's in a good way and a bad uh, way too uh, the technology is a, a important tool for us so it has been a, a, a important change in our lives so because we we can learn and study and yes and in general we can use uh, the power of internet for everything right so we can yes, yes for entertainment or everything everything that yes. we we can use the internet in in yeah it has changed in all the aspects of our lives. Yes, right. yes, I agree. Our life has changed dramatically because uh, it's facilitated and at the same time uh, gives give us oppor opportunities opportunities <laughs> opportunities for many areas of of our life. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's right. And um, for TikTok. <laughs> for example, <laughs> yes, yes, we need TikTok, uh, Facebook, uh, WhatsApp. So the internet is very important in our lives uh, and change our lives forever, right? So is 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 um or is is how we can use this tool that the way can uh, mark the difference, right? Uh, technology has been a good tool that helped or harmed education in our country? Um, yeah, uh, there are, I consider there are several pros and cons and it had been a good tool which helped in the education, for example, in terms of connectivity, efficacy, um, opportunity, and it depends of the good use that we uh, made of it. Um, for example, it had been made as a tool which bring the opportunity uh, to learn more I'm closer with the information, but I consider we have to take care of all of those people who had bad uh, intentions on the internet and the um, mass media. So we have to be careful because there are people who had bad intentions and most of them damage our children or our vulnerable people. Yes, this is. It, for me, it's a, a useful tool, right? For my children, I have two children, so it's a uh, it's a good uh, tool for for the education. So I I use internet and and the education uh, elements for each to my to my uh, the, uh, children. Sorry, to my children. So I I can. I can think that the education 
can uh, use the internet power or in general the technology for uh, improve their uh, students opportunity to learn so for me is in our country still a uh, uh, better uh, infrastructure so we can use a little bit of these all technologies, all, all these new technologies for education, but it's an important uh, tool for uh, uh, the power rights so, yeah. and development. It, and, it's, um, uh, we need it. We need it. Is the the yes. is a fact. We need it. Yes, we need this tool, right? Yes, I agree. So, Tell me, oh, okay, I hear you, Kelly. Sorry. <laughs> I agree with you. Okay, so tell me, girls, uh, where you have been working after leaving the school? Mm, guys, uh, the truth is that I have focused on, on studying and working okay. at home. And I, I have, I have been working uh, on painting and uh, watercolor painting. Oh, great! Yes, Are you an artist, right? Yes. Wow! I am. <laughs> oh, congratulations, right? Yeah, yeah. beautiful. Yeah, and I have working also as. Uh, as a waitress in a restaurant um, when suddenly one day my brother called me and said me that I was accepted at a public university in Distrital University so I have to travel to the capital to start my studies over there so I quit that job and started immersion in that university and a great institute. A hard job, and right? Oh, yeah. Uh, anyway, how, how long have you been studying English before this degree? Oh, uh, well, um, I'm sorry uh, to uh, study or to learn English uh, a long time ago. So I loved the, the English, uh, but I first start to uh, study in a uh, uh, engineer so uh, then uh, I can leave this uh, program and now I'm studying English I love the English language so I I, I will continue with my with my vision of, of of my of my personal development so I can or I want to uh, learn a lot of English. I love the English language, and I always uh, be being a part or be learning English, so I can or I want uh, improve or achieve my level English. English level. Yeah, I <laughs> I have not I have not been studying English before the university. Um, okay. Yeah, and I, yeah, it's I know. Me too. It's a, a good opportunity to learn, right? Yeah. If you yeah. like the English, you can learn a lot in, in this program, in this uh, a new career in your life. And I wish you a very successful uh, career. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Also, me, I, I haven't studied English almost for three years since I started in the university. Um, and I consider this a continuous process. We have to learn almost every day and we have to practice the grammar and the slangs and the idioms in order to acquire the language as well as we want. Uh, yes. the, the grammar is the, the ugly part of, of this, right? Yeah. <laughs> the grammar is, is a headache for all the students. Yeah. Right. Or the language is very um, difficult to assimilate. One one word means something, but if you put with another word, it means totally different. So we have to take it. Hey, 
Yeah, uh, we can learn a lot of vocabulary, but the, the grammar rules are a headache. Uh, I can I can with the grammar lesson. It's, it's, it's hard, it's hard to me. And for yeah. so many people too. So I, I can understand you, you're right. You're right. Uh -huh. Guys, um, what have you been doing abroad? Oh, oh, well, oh, Mars. Go ahead, uh, go ahead, Mars. <laughs> Mars, please, go ahead. Sorry. I have not been the opportunity to travel to another country, just to Ecuador uh, some few years ago, and yeah, on Brazil, but just for vacation. I had visited Ecuador too, specifically the Quito city, city of Quito. Quito is amazing city. It's cold and the people are charming and and it's, it's, it's a beautiful city, right? Yeah, the artisans yeah. are, are great and the, um, I, I like the folklore, I, I, I like the music, and I like the music, I really like it and appreciate it. Yeah, it's very similar to, to our country. I don't like the food. I don't <laughs> like the food. <laughs> it's very different for here. But I, I love uh, I love Quito, I love Ecuador. It's a beautiful place. It's a beautiful country. What about you, Kelly? Um, <laughs> I I am not travel um on Quito. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm. Okay. I travel to Ecuador, okay. but um, Lago Agrio. Where have you been living before the before the place where you currently live? Um, I lived I lived in Pinalito Huila. Oh, okay. um, and today I live in in Samaniego Narín. Oh, okay. Are you from for Pitalito? I'm from Italy, yes. Ah, okay. But now you live in Nariño, right? Yes, yes. Ah, okay. Ah, nice. It's a cool, a cold city too, right? Yes, because I married. <laughs> oh. Yes. Nice. My yeah. husband is is from from San Diego. <laughs> Okay, I'm married too. <laughs> you have to move over there. Ah, great. Yes. Okay. And I was living in Bogota um, um, with my and brother. What about you, Marcela? <laughs> I was Sorry. In Bogota with my brother, and there, uh, well, I had the opportunity to study at the university a couple of years before. So, but currently I live in San Agustin. Near to Pitalito. Okay. I have living in Pitalito. Okay. Which institution had you worked before 2020? Max. Uh, ah, uh, Max, perdón. <laughs> All right. Uh, like an unofficial you know, institution? Uh, well, I, I, I have. Oh, I I had been working in a in a, a security company, so it calls a uh, multinational company. Uh, it called uh, Prosegur. I don't know if you heard see uh, before. I've, I've heard it. So it's a a big company. Um. And um, it's a it's a, a a good company with a uh, a good uh, a good terms to work and it's in general it's a it's a, a very good company to work. Uh, and what about you, you Marcela? Um, I was working on Pontour 
I don't know if you have heard about it. It is a com it is an entity around the country that focus on incentivate and motivate tourism in the oh, uh, okay. places in Colombia. So it is a good institution in order that you can um, give information or uh, to people who come from other countries. So, but it was just for uh, the first days. Uh, first months of this year, this year because uh, nowadays it is closed. Nobody comes here to visit us in San Agustin. Mm, okay, okay. I have not been a uh, study uh, working in the institution. Um, what? What book has you thought the most interesting of your book? Well, the, uh, when I was a child, I considered The Little Prince by Antoine de Saint Exupéry. It has been taught me the art. It's it the art of the little step. That means that we have to. Mm, if we want to get something, we have to do step by step and consider the, the this minute the most important of all of our life. Yeah, it's a it's a good a good book, right? Mm, yeah. I can buy this this book for my for my daughter. It's a I think it's a, it's a good book to. to help. Yeah, teaches us um, useful things for our lives. Um, almost we consider that it's just for children, but we as an adults, we can get some important reflections about it. Yeah. I, um, when I was a kid, I really don't like uh, uh, read a lot. So I, I, I remember that I read uh, only uh, academic uh, books and academic uh, all the the academic uh, things that I can read that anything anything <laughs> books I can say is my favorite or or I can recommend for for anybody I, I can I can I, I never read a book in all my childhood. It's boring, right? But it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a real fact. <laughs> I didn't read more, much uh, either, but oh, wow. I liked the, the Bible stories. Oh, okay. If I, yeah. I read about the Bible <laughs> now, as I was a kid, I, I don't how can you explain the actual social programs in your in our country? Um, I, well, I consider the actual situation in Colombia. It has been it had been marked by the result of years of I consider oppression and inequality in the society sociality. So nowadays, for example, there is a reaction from people uh, to the bad um, government that we have. So uh, it is a reaction that it took long time ago. I consider. Yes, I consider the the main problem in this government is the uh, <laughs> corruption, right? <laughs> corruption. So uh, this is my biggest problem with this government, and. And the people who defend this uh, corrupt government, right, is is the, the 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 biggest problem to me. So yes, we can move. Yeah, we can move on. As you, <laughs> I think the same as you. Okay, hello, sisters. It's nice to see you again. So I wish you very successful activities and in your careers in 
all your life. So I hope to you again tomorrow or another day. So please uh, get in touch with me. Right? <laughs> Yeah, it was really, really nice to uh, see you again and, and know about your dreams and about your goals, about your studies. So I really also motivate you to continue your process of English language learning and to finish. I, I consider soon the university. So it, it was nice. Okay. Uh, Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> I I happy uh, because this encounter. Oh, me too. I'm very happy to see you again, girls. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.